Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a 1960s Pride themed dress. Happy Pride Month everybody! This is your yearly reminder that we do absolutely still need Pride. LGBTQIA plus people's rights are still being eroded. Just look at what's going on in America and in the UK as well especially the rights of trans people so we need to continue showing love showing support doing what we can especially in elections also if you happen to have stumbled across this video and you do not feel the same you know where the door is. I've been wanting to do a 1960s dress ever since we did a cataloging session at the theatre I'm a member of. It was really fun, we got to try on a bunch of costumes, the idea being to size them all because we just had racks of costumes that were just all mixed up. Some of the dresses not my thing but then there were other dresses that I thought looked really cute. I felt like the style lines of these kind of dresses seemed reasonably straightforward as well so I really wanted to have a go at making one just using my block patterns. I'm not gonna lie I was also kind of influenced by the panel dress on Great British Sewing Bee. I thought it looked really really cool and the way the different colours are lined up and stuff, I thought a pride dress would just work so well. Usually I would take you over to the cutting mat and we would discuss the pattern, but there are so many pattern pieces for this. It ended up being a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So instead, we get a diagram. Basically, we've got a basic dress, it only has two darts, which are the side bust darts. They have been moved down to a bit of an angle, so they're kind of going up rather than across. And then we have the different panels. They are offset on each side. And I was originally thinking that I was going to do red, orange, yellow down one side and then green, blue, purple down the other and that is how I have got the pattern pieces marked at the moment. I will be changing them so when you see them when I'm cutting out they'll have scribbles all over them. When I was drawing it out like this though I realised that I actually want it to be like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I think that's going to look a lot better. So without further ado let's get cutting stuff out. Great. These are my fabrics, they have all been washed and ironed. We've got the black for the bits in between. And then we've got our rainbow fabrics. I did want to go for something with a slightly different texture to this. Um, but I could only find a plain cotton in these colours. So ended up having to go with that. What I'm going to do though, um, just to give them a little bit of extra because they're a bit flimsy and a bit thin, I'm going to line them with the same colours. Um, so I mean that will technically make it sort of reversible I guess. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for that. This is what I mean about the pattern pieces. These ones are just for the front. They're all reasonably straightforward. The only one that is a bit different is this one because on this panel the dart goes through the black. So what I have done is kind of drawn this black bit a bit different so that fingers crossed when I do the dart up it will look like a straight line. <laughs> But yeah, so that's one side, and then that's the other side. So I am going to start cutting these out. Right, now that I have all of these cut out, I need to sew them together 
so that I've essentially just got four normal parts of a dress. So I have left and right front, left and right back. I've got my bits. Next thing I need to do is sew the darts on the front panels and then I also need to do the strip that kind of goes around the neck and then down on the front and the back. I realised that I don't actually have a zip long enough. Uh, I do have an invisible zip but it's only really suitable for a side zipper and the neck hole on this is going to be too small. I'm not going to be able to get it on over my head. So I am going to have to take a trip to Dunelm. Not sure how much more I'll be able to get done on this today, but I'm off to a good start. Okay, so I've just done a little try on and I'm glad that I did because I think I may have forgotten some seam allowance somewhere along the lines because it is a little bit too tight. Um, no worries though because at the end of the day it's panel dress. It's got black strips going all the way through it. I also didn't had a slight misalignment in some places as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some two inch wide strips, same as these, along the sides as well. That will give me a little bit of breathing room and it should also disguise the slight misalignment a bit as well. I'm also thinking I might put in some little patch pockets in the front that way, because I'm planning on wearing this to the local Pride event and it'd be nice if I could just put my phone and that in a pocket rather than having to take an entire bag with me. So yeah, and, pa and every dress needs pockets. So yeah, I think that's the plan going forward. <laughs>
I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I actually think it looks really cool. There are a few little things that I would change. I think in future I would make it just one layer, just because it's ended up getting a little bit kind of puffy in areas, which I'm not too keen on. I also had some issues with the zip. The shape isn't quite how I would like it, but overall, I really like the look of this. I have kept the pattern, so I can make another one in different colours at some point. There is one little mistake that I made, and that was an alignment issue. That can be fixed on the pattern. I know exactly what I did to make that mistake, and it's really, really easily fixed. Unfortunately, I didn't get to wear this dress for the Pride event that I wanted to wear it to, purely because I had a brain fart moment and got the locations mixed up. <laughs> so yeah, I felt miserable about it for a few days, but it's fine, these things happen. I could always wear this dress to something else at some point in the future. Unrelated to the dress, I am so pleased with my hair and makeup. I usually suck at this kind of thing, but I think this looks really, really nice. So yeah, and this was a sort of success. The back, maybe not as much, but the front, that's good. Um, I didn't have a hairband, so I faked one. Um, this is kind of telling me that maybe I need more hairbands in my life. <laughs> Overall, I think this has been a successful project. I did get to learn some lessons about like dart manipulation and adjusting fit and stuff. One thing that I'm quite pleased with was getting a little bit more shaping in the back. I did that by taking out the equivalent of the dart from between the black strip where the zip is and the panel on each side. I think it's worked quite well. I think a little bit more shaping could be good, but I didn't want to push it since I'd never done something like this before. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Doing all the YouTube-y things, like, comment, share, it's all very much appreciated. Also, if you have supported me on Coffee, you will see your name appearing here. Thank you very much for watching. YouTube is saying that you might enjoy this video here, and I will see you next time. Happy Pride, everyone. Bye.